Hello, I'm back with another perfume review. This time it's the Ellen Tracy perfume. And honestly, I'd never heard of this one before. I ran across it recently and because it was so affordable, I was like, I'll give it a try. Here's what the bottle looks like. Sleek and modern. It's really pretty. It'll look good on a dresser. It's like a mix of clean, warm notes here. Let's just spray it on. It sprayed really well. Not too powerful, but enough came out to where I feel like I don't need another spritz right now. The bottle's hard to hold when you push down. Since this part is narrow and this part's wider, it's just like it wants to fall out of your hand. So this perfume is, it's bizarre to me. Some days it's clean and soapy, feminine, white florals, office friendly. You could wear it anywhere and not offend anybody. You could wear it any time of day. I would probably not recommend it that way for date nights. After a couple of days, it's sassier, sultrier, kinda naughty side came out and it smelled like cinnamon and spices with warm woods and a little bit of sweetness that was thrown in and the scent just grew. It's totally different from what I experienced earlier in the week. So I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> Affectionately called this perfume the Jekyll and Hyde perfume, but it's not really that serious. I love that it's so versatile and it ha really has two different personalities, but the problem is you don't know which one's gonna come out when. So it makes it hard to wear it if you wanna wear it to work and the cinnamon and spices come through or you wanna wear wear something sensual and sexy on a date and the white clean florals come through, then what? <laughs> it's got great longevity and it projects pretty well, especially when it's in cinnamon mode. So you're really committed. And if you try to wear the cinnamon version to work, then, but that might just be how it interacts with my body chemistry. It might stay the same all the time on somebody else. If you do want to give it a try and see if it's something that you like, I got this 1.7 ounce bottle for less than $20, so it's not a huge commitment to try it out and see if you like it. Overall, I'm neutral on it. I like both versions that I get, but I wish I knew which one I was gonna get on which day. So I can't say that I love it, but it's interesting and I'm glad it's a part of my collection. If you like reviews like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.